Hello, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Daily Runs, Maggie Run. <sighs> Don't play these as often as I used to. Good start, good start. Walk straight into that fucking fly. Maggie's starting speed and damage and not sort of things that we want to really talk too much about, except to say it could be better. Eden's Blessing is a decent upgrade, though. It does increase your shot, your fire rate. Where are we going? Mom's foot. So, mom. We're only going to the mom fight, so... If we can get fast enough to do... Whoa, careful. Boss rush. That would be a good start. But in that, we also have to try and figure out some way of getting past the mom fight. If you find an Awas rune, don't use it. It's not an XL floor, no. Uh, if we find... Well, don't use it until we get to the place where we want to use it. If we find a full card or... Anything except a Emperor card, really. Any teleport card besides Emperor or Joker will allow us to get back into the floor with the mom fight on it. That's another way of maybe getting past that floor by finding a self-sacrifice room. We might as well finish this floor. We are going quite fast despite being Maggie, and I think Eden's Blessing here has been a decent upgrade for us. It's a small fire rate upgrade, which is allowing us to output our DPS just fast enough for me to be happy with it. With three bombs, maybe I'm going to check here. Okay. Never mind that then. Yeah, I feel like it could be one of those two as well. Uh, but I'm not really going to try looking. So it's a champion monster which is going to be a pain in the ass with this um, DPS that we've currently got. And we're not quite as fast as I'd like to be in order to sort of react to Monstro's bullshit of spitting stuff at me. Yeah, careful. See, uh, I'm in a position where I'm actually trying to dodge the shots, which I'm failing to do, apparently, rather than uh, just dancing around them and shooting once we get to the other side, which is the ideal tactic. But at least it's the monster that stays put for quite a long time, so it's not jumping over all of our shots all the time. And it is done, so there is that. Young Heart is not something I'm too pleased about, but Binky does give us at least, I believe, a speed upgrade. The Spirit Heart is good because we're going to want to try and get a deal with the Devil. Although, that being said, if we're not careful, we won't have enough HP to find... to ooh, to use on the first self-sacrifice room, and that's going to be really the difference between making it past the mom fight and not making it past the mom fight. Now, there could have been an AWAS room. Look at our uh, huge increase in damage all of a sudden. This is outrageous. Um, I'm feeling very confident now because of this damage output. There's a second Spirit Heart to basically ensure that we get our deal with the Devil. Now, it could be Krampus, and it could be shit, so let's not pretend like we've won this run yet, because the deal with the devil may not actually provide us with any tangible benefits. However, as noted, if we do go ahead and take a deal with the devil, that will hamper our ability to play the self-sacrifice room unless we find something like a, um, what am I thinking of here? Uh, a perks kill, which will halve the damage we take. And I'm pretty sure that's the only way of playing a self-sacrifice room at that cost. And that's the cost we're going to be aiming for, of course, because that's basically, that's half price is the best price you can get. You can't play it for free. Synth oil is also a great upgrade, so we don't even need to take this deal with the devil. And it is two guppy items. And I'm actually going to take them both. And here's why. The first one is a guppy item. The second one is a guppy item, which I will keep. Because at any point in the future... Our HP is going to be more valuable in quantity than in quality. Now, the quality of HP it refers to the fact that red HP is, to a great extent, better for you than blue or black HP because you can more easily replenish it and you can more comfortably, therefore, spend it on this self sacrifice room right now. You can more comfortably spend it on things like uh, the Blood Bank and Demon Judgments, please. But. When it comes to the self-sacrifice room, which we're going to have to decide when we're going to press the button, by the way. We'll discuss that later. When it comes to those, HP kind of works a bit differently because you just need a lot of it. I've got 11 cents, which is enough. There was no arcade on this floor, unfortunately, and we just spend our HP. It's probably going to... We should be able to get an HP on the floor after this floor, in Caves 2, or whatever it turns out to be. Uh, this is worth doing. Maybe not taking Cursed Eye, 
Uh, I know a few YouTubers mentioning no names who will be quite happy to take Cursed Eye. But I'm going to try very strongly to avoid walking into that by accident, although knowing me, no promises. Look how fast we're dealing with these rooms uh, whilst we're actually firing. The range downgrade, which is not great. But at least it wasn't paralysis because I actually genuinely thought we'd already beaten the third wave. Full health, good to know about. It's real full health pill. Uh, by which I mean if that was a bad trip pill, it would have been bad trip now. Full health. Bad trip becomes full health when you have 1 HP. But full health is always full health. Please don't. Took a couple of hits on that room, which I'm not necessarily too proud of. My leg is hurting, and it's distracting me, and I'm not trying to use that as an excuse. I'm just pointing out that, for the purposes of conversation, something to say. Uh, my leg needs to stop hurting. I was sitting down for most of yesterday, and my job involves sitting down at work, although it doesn't have to. Today I chose to, because yesterday was the live stream in which we played Dwarf Fortress, and I have checked. Twitch did record those VODs, so they are available if you want to go and watch for about eight straight hours of <laughs> Dwarf Fortress. <sighs> it was daunting. Um... Which made me far too tired today to stand up at work, so now everything hurts. At least my elbows stopped twinging, though. Put some ice on that. Which was also an entertaining thing to try to do in an office. Make an ice pack out of actually ice. Um, the bag that we got some tomatoes in. And a tea towel. I mean, these things are falling apart, provided I can actually get to them and fucking shoot them. Here we go. There's some money here as well, which is super nice, because we're very close to our shop. Which I will go back for now, because I feel like this is the direction of the boss, so the less backtracking that we do, the better. We've already found the item room. Probably want to try and make up some time on this floor, just to ensure that we do make it to boss rush. Oh, though. I do like Jar of Flies. I'm going to go all in on this. Take everything. Good. Now we don't get our... Uh, arcade on the next floor. You need at least five cents to have a chance of spawning an arcade. We don't have it. I wouldn't mind a speed upgrade. Synth oil plus Cricket's Head has turned out to be an amazing set of uh, damage upgrades for us. Plus the tears upgrade that we got um, from Eden's Blessing, which unfortunately will have no uh, none of its other effects, which is to normally it will produce uh, a random item when you start the next run, but that will not happen in this case for anybody, unfortunately. But the, uh, the DPS upgrade is also extremely good. No bombs. We might as well take the stud finder. But I'm right here, baby. Look, literally everybody on YouTube makes that joke. If I didn't make that joke, I would feel like, why am I not making that joke? And then if I did make that joke, it would be, why are you making that joke? So, you can't win. I erred on the side of safety. Uh, basically, clickbait. Dirty jokes on this channel. Hashtag boobs. Hashtag penis. Hashtag toilet humour. Hashtag Bernie Sanders. Look. I'll do anything for views. Trump versus Sanders. Right here. It's not true. I'm just saying. Uh, hello. You didn't last any time at all, which makes me happy. And there's our guppy transformation, so now we can feel tremendously good about everything ever. Ha ha ha! This game is over, although I kind of feel like I should have now kept guppy's paw. Because now all HP can be turned 1 for 3 into... Well, or th in that case, we could have turned all our HP 1 for 3 into Spirit Hearts and spent them on the self-sacrifice room, which we're still sort of holding out against. Uh, whereas now, we can only produce way more flies than we already have, which is great. And of course, we can fly, so we can pick up all the things. But I'm not going to pretend that this run has not turned a Maggie run into a stupendously powerful, outrageously good run, which I will only be privileged to be able to take down to the dark room. Although, can we talk about these chests? Game? Let's, uh, let's table this particular issue, which is that all the chests that you've given me so far have had nothing but HP in them. I'm pretty shit at that. Oh yeah, or fucking a whole cent. I'm so pleased. Look how fast we're going. This is Catacombs 2 already. We're nearly out of it. We're not even 10 minutes. We're only going this way because we want to find the item room, just to see if it can make us even more stupidly powerful. I mean, what do I want now? I've asked for some speed, and that is still the case, but now that we can fly, speed is not such an issue, because we can get from A to B 
without wor really worrying about it. We did get another spirit heart, so that was probably worth the key. Even though it was our last key and now I can't do the item room, I didn't really think of that. Hopefully the game will take pity on us. It did take pity on us. This is almost always a secret room, so I felt very confident about putting that bomb there. And we'll put a bomb here, turn that thing into five cents, and probably use the last bomb to shortcut through. <laughs> I see what you've done here. Here we go. Reroll. What do we win? Uh, monsters along with a hugely low rate of fire. We'll use this once. Get a spirit heart. We do have some HP now, so we can sell it to the deal with the devil if we want to. Now is the sort of time where you think maybe I should have tried to get a battery charge on the ground. We should charge up our monstro's lung because we can't half charge it. What have we got? We've got Polyphemus Monstro's Lung, which is going to be insanely powerful. We do keep Guppy. Forget you, not this. We want a High Priestess card from that. I was hoping to get a battery charge. But if nothing else, at least we've um, charged up a couple of runes worth of D100. We do want to reroll out of this because it is, while very strong, going to be very difficult to actually deal with. Kind of don't really want any of that. I wouldn't mind having deep pockets. I need to itch. Wait. I decided it was m more sensible to not move than it would be to let go of this charge right now. Um, I kind of want... Oh, that's really good. Deep pockets, but I don't want to pay for it. We don't, I mean, we'd have to go and find the money with which to pay for it. Which would also be a problem. I'm honestly wondering whether we do re-roll this. I mean, it would have been good to keep Crystal Ball. It would have sped us up quite considerably. But we don't have a way out of... Boss Rush. In order to get down to the next floor. We don't have an AWAS rune. So if we do find the self-sacrifice rune... Room on the next floor... You know, we have to decide whether we want to play it or not. Oh my god. It's taking me so long to recharge, I'm actually going to re-roll. Mostly because it's just pissing me right off. We've gone down to base damage, but we do have number two. This is infinite free bombs, essentially. Uh, again, could pay for... Oh, let's see if we get some cash out of this. Nope. We could pay for the blue map, but... Like, why? Didn't really mean to do that, but it worked out, so I'm happy that, it, that I did. Kicking that number two bomb there. Try not to accidentally drop one. Let's just uh, explode this joker. There's nothing he has that we want. Uh, except apparently a control bomb. There's Guppy's head. Do we stick with this run? I'm saying no. Although, by all rights, we should now be super Guppy, and we are not. Let's keep going until we can afford a reroll. Don't forget butt bombs that come out of number two like that. They are, um... They are poison bombs. This is depth one, so we can... Jump in here. It's monstro. Again, Guppy is going to produce so many flies that I'm not too concerned about our actual DPS. But we do have to hit the enemies. And the flies have to hit the enemy that we want the flies to hit. What else have we got here? We've got Seraphim, which is kind of... Is that Seraphim? Or the other one? Guardian Angel? That might be Guardian Angel. Which is kind of nice, but not, you know, stupendous. <laughs> what sort of dodge is that? How are you doing this? Another deal with the devil, which we do not deserve. I mean, if you're going to take anything, you take Incubus, don't you? But it's going away anyway? Oh, well, we could keep it. I mean, if we can get some decent upgrades. If we can fix this run, it has good DPS. I mean, we've not had any trouble just beating Monstro just now, even though it looks weak. But the other items that we've got, the sort of passive items that the D100 gave us, are just not really that interesting. We have Bum Friend, which is quite uninteresting. I definitely don't want to give it any of my money. Because any money that I don't, like, intentionally give it... Uh, I mean, all it can do is turn consumables, i.e. money, into consumables, i.e. not money. And I'd rather just take the money, because this is a daily and we want the points. Going plenty fast enough though. All right, all right. Here goes nothing. Right, we're going to reroll this. We have quad shot, 
Tech 2. Tech point 5. Sagittarius. And 8 inch nails. So we'll keep this, I think. And I'm tempted to, honestly, excuse me. We also must have something that is causing us. We've got some tier effect changer because suddenly we've got my reflection, which we didn't have when we first checked. We don't have it now. So it's either a three dollar bill or no, it's definitely three dollar bill because fruit cake changes you every time. We might as well take this then. Why the hell not? D100 is kind of more fun to play not on a daily. Because you're not that invested in winning when you're not on a daily. I mean, on the other runs where we're trying to get... Um, ooh, ooh, sad bombs. On the other runs where we're trying to get 1,001%, it's way more interesting to just fuck with them and see what we get, right? Just have a few... Have a laugh with it, but on these ones, we're competing. We're against everybody else. We've still got a high priestess, which can help us out of a bind, but... I I don't expect to get into a bind. We're doing enough damage. Yeah, tech point five on its own is doing enough damage. We've also got the flies. We've also just got permanent guppy. Besides the flies that we get from guppy's head. Bomb please. Thank you. We've got plenty of time on this floor to look for a way out of boss rush. I mean, presuming that there is a self-sacrifice room on this floor. Because we saw one on maybe the previous floor or maybe the one before. I don't honestly remember. I want mom's... Box of trinkets? I mean, not really. I don't want to walk into that poop either, but you know, we can't always have what we want. So every now and then, it looks like we're uh, synergizing quad shot with quad shot, thanks to um, thanks to three dollar bill. This feels like the boss direction as well, so we've got plenty of time to backtrack if necessary, and it probably is going to be necessary. Good. Yeah, here it is. Uh, yeah, good job. I mean, it finishes the room, but not in the ideal way. It's probably not there. It is there. Okay. That was actually exactly the right place, and my own self-confidence decided it was completely wrong. So this is a mom fight. We won't do this yet. We will put some bombs down. See if one of these turns into a teleport card. It didn't. It turned into a chariot card. We do have a bit of time. Ah, uh, Rubbish. By a bit of time, I mean approximately four whole minutes. I don't anticipate having any actual problem beating Mom. But at least we got rid of Bum Friend. Hello there. So we'll search for a self-sacrifice room. If there isn't one, and we haven't got an AWAS room, then I guess this is just the end of it. And I'm hoping it's the end of it for everybody. By which I mean, I'm hoping that I'm in the same boat as everybody else and didn't miss an AWAS room because I didn't look for the super secret room on the first floor or something silly like that. Um, thank you, Fly. So hopefully, if we are stuck on this floor, then we are in the same boat as everybody else. We have three dollar bill and um, fruit cake. It's insane, I know, but it's possible. It was. It was. <laughs> We know how this works. We take our AWAS room. We still chuck, chuck, chuck. We still chuck for self-sacrifice room. But we now have an opportunity for it to be on the next floor. Because we will be doing the next floor because we have put in our due diligence. And also, there is this. Fear shot. Eh. We came all this way. We might as well take it. But we'll, uh, we'll make our way home. Back to mom. Try not to press Q. For goodness sake. You only have to make it to the the mom fight. Tab is next to Q. W is next to Q. This game is taunting me. How do I leave? Ooh. Ranger. Fair enough. I wonder if we took something, because we knew what that was, but I don't think I've taken a range upgrade before, in fact. Didn't we take a range down? So maybe we've actually got PhD amongst, amongst this. We've also got Midas Touch, by the way, um, which I don't know if you're aware. It's a contact item... Like, it, it does damage when you touch stuff. But we're going to be able to touch Mom. And it does damage based on your... Um... Well, yeah, we'll take the Polaroid. It does damage based on... I 
how much money you've got. I'm actually going to take both of these because I'm insane. But I, I really, really like Sack Dagger. Now, I took Contract from below because I want all the stuff it can give me. These are both shit, by the way. Um, I like the idea of taking Contract from below because it's a daily and we want to get as much points, as many points as we can. We want to get as much out of our points game as possible. Yeah. Uh, the, the tracking shots here, the homing shots, that's quite useful. That's our piercing shots because Bloat's eyes have nothing to stop us when we've got piercing shots. Uh, but we want Sack Dagger because Sack Dagger is A, a great defensive item, but B, a great offensive item. It sort of fills both niches, provided you're not, you know, chicken like I am to actually get in there and use the damn thing. But we're so slow at the moment, I'm hoping that maybe we can get a speed upgrade in order to make... Ooh, how did I win that? What have I done? We do have Poison Touch. No, we have Poison Tears. No, we have Fear Shot, so I don't know why we deserve a Black Heart just now. Unless we just randomly got a Poison Shot shot, thanks for $3 bill or Fruitcake, and then that caused an enemy to die and just rewarded us with 1x Black Hearts, use at your discretion. No takey backsies. See back a pack for returns policy. Not to be confused with any other offer. Careful here. <laughs> I mean, the less we get hit, the better. But honestly, we've got enough HP. And that's why I was happy to take Sack Dagger as well. Apart from the fact it's a good defensive item. Can we, can we deal with this, please? You're too far away, mate. Come back. Yeah, apart from the fact it's a decent defensive item. Where's my spirit heart, though? Uh, we have enough HP and we've got enough damage and the flies are here and... We don't have to do hush, so we don't have to worry about that. I'm a little bit um, trepid. I'm ornery to do anything outrageously, you know, aggressive. I don't want to be too aggressive in my play here. Having tech point five is actually super helpful, though. Because it gives us a sort of an infinite range backup weapon. There's probably a pin or something here. Yeah, actually pin. So that's dead already. Again, I don't want to get into range of this Joker because I don't know how to deal with it. We can get the flies to aggress. Aggress? That's a word. To offence. We're golden. Wouldn't have minded getting Dark Bum with all this HP on the ground, but our offensive capacity is sufficient that I don't actually mind having no real way to replenish our spirit hearts. Even though, now I think about it, when we do get down, provided we can, to the Dark Room, uh, we're going to be in a bad way because we won't have very many spirit hearts left to our name. Ali aliens? Angels? Not my favourite thing in the world. Dead already, though. That's pretty good. Where's our uh, other Steven? Is there no other Steven? No. War and Loki. I think I'll take Loki out first because, whoops. I can get hit by Loki's shots because I wasn't paying enough attention. Whereas War's just going to disappear and leave some bombs and we're all going to chill out and hang out over some... Oh, well, got here. Whatever. Trevor, whatever. Check that out. Uh, this is the scary version of Mega Fatty as well. It will cause fishes on the ground, which are my least favourite attack of any enemy. Because I have genuinely no idea how to avoid fishes. This could take a while, so prepare thyself. Move up. That's weird. They all came back. You only get one hit per tier, by the way, even if they go through an enemy twice. You don't get the benefit of both. These, why am I tracking these shots? I'm so bad. Good. I really would like a speed upgrade. I'm feeling so sluggish. It's not that I feel like I can't avoid the shots. It's just that I can't get into position to do stuff. Where's it gone? I can't, I can't get close enough because our range has suffered slightly. I can't get close enough to deal with that. Oh, we have one. I have no use for that. We'll use the AWAS rune. It's a fucking crawl space. This is BS. That is the last thing we need. That is a... a <laughs> oh, this has happened before, actually, I, I do believe. Well, that's it. The AWAS rune actually... 
sat on us from a great height. 653rd implies that some people did find a way through. But it wasn't me. Maybe those people took the self-sacrifice room early and avoided boss rush. But we did do boss rush. We did quite well. We got some decent runs and we played with the D100, which is always entertaining. I hope you were entertained. Thank you for watching. I hope you join me for the next episode. But until then, do take care. That was a bit like Avak. I apologise for stealing Avak. Sorry, Avak.